I'm Lady Charmaine, you're watching the Lady Charmaine Live, and I'm here with Sunday best one, Iana Crawley. How you doing, lady? I'm doing good. Season two, we have to make that. It's season two, Sunday best winner. You are looking fine and fabulous. Can tell me what happened? You have made a transformation. You always pretty, but tell me what you go through. What happened? Well, what I did was I decided to get healthy. I decided because um, I have a foundation for young women, and I'm promoting health and wellness and beauty and all of that. So I said. I can't be up in front of them and being a hypocrite like you gotta you gotta do right so I decided just to um, cut back a portion size I didn't go on no fat diets fats fade no diets no nothing I just portion size my food and I'm a Zumba instructor I love to dance a lot of people don't know that about me but I love to dance so I incorporated that in my health and I began teaching Zumba and I did it for like five days a week and I cut it back now I'm only doing it two days a week because I was getting OC with it but but it created results for me and I love it I love music and I just said I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna lose this weight so I did it for me now speaking of that Zumba I took a Zumba class and it almost sent me to the hospital and that is no joke I'm like oh my god I tried to keep up with the instructor and if you, look if you don't know what you're doing and if you've never taken Zumba just be the girl in the back and just taking your time okay because don't go to almost to go, go to the hospital like I did but anyway we are here at the Stellar Award weekend there's so much going on who are you most excited to see performing the Stellar Award stage I am most excited to see everybody I'm actually singing on the awards this year I'm so grateful for that God has given me favor I'm singing with Kiara Sheard the lovely Anita and um um, Amber Bullock and we're doing like a collab and then we're doing a tribute to the late great Inez yes yes with the caravan so I'm, I'm excited I'm really really excited this year some great people are being honored all this weekend tonight Marvin Tapp is being honored Byron Cage is being honored Hezekiah Walk is being honored tell me how their music has impacted you greatly greatly impact I mean I just remember growing up listening to all those songs getting them in my heart and singing them you know when I'm not feeling so good or you know you can't help but to hear because they rang through the airwaves and and through the radio waves so they really each one of them Hezekiah um, Pastor Marvin Sapp and um, Byron Cage Byron Cage is in my city hey Byron he's in Maryland up there with me over at Ebenezer but I love all those guys I love they put out great great gospel music and they their lives depict what they sing now what can we expect to see from you anything new in 2013 are you doing a reality show too everybody doing reality now listen you may be speaking that thing into existence because um, I, I can act in do a little something but no you can expect another album and I'm um, also a one woman stage play that I'm working on and I am I have an up and coming uh, foundation called the promise foundation that will be solidified by the summer I'm trying to help um, teenage girls from 18 to 35 health and wellness like I said before um, I'm gonna try to give back and give scholarships I was one that had a child when I was 17 so I tell my testimony everywhere I go just because you made a mistake your child is a blessing but don't allow your past to dictate your future so I just want to keep pushing them teach them about beauty and etiquette and stuff like that so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good from the fabulous you I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous and the price so what does the promise foundation mean T tell us the meaning behind the name of the foundation well the promise foundation came from my album the promise and when we talk about God's promises God's promises is not like man promise man can promise you something but then he won't he won't even come to fruition with it but when God promises you something no devil in hell nobody on earth can close the door so I want to be the promise that God has set for me give back to my girls and let them remember their promise how beautiful